Boom, big hits, back again. Come on, man, 33 and that, active. Whew, it's been a minute since I've said that, man. But yeah, man, um, do you know what? I'm just gonna jump straight into it, yeah? The entertainment industry is one, is, it has to be the most wicked industry out of all industries that exist right now. You see the entertainment industry, and listen, um, when it comes to entertainment, I'm talking music, movies, corn because that's part of entertainment um and whatever else that comes under the bracket of entertainment yeah <sighs> i know i'm not the only one that sees this right and the, the only people who will not find an issue with these are these extreme liberalists liberalists whatever you want to call them that <sighs> I don't know what sort of freedom they're looking for. They're looking for freedom up to the point where they're self-destruct. But um, just look at the... Let's look at the music industry, for example, yeah? Especially the female rappers. But I'm, I'm not even just... It's not just the female rappers. It's like even male rappers too. Even like artists from other genres like pop and all of that. Everything is so sexualized everything is so sexualized the women the women side of the the music industry if you ain't shaking some ass or you're not doing some um sexually suggestive things like what's her name is it lotto or whatever i don't know if you saw her um last live performance but she's really out here gagging on the mic bro the mic that you're using to perform you're trying to do deep throat nah man nah man Nah, man. You got Pete. You got Cardi B. She's forever been selling cat. You've got Nicki. Uh, obviously, Nicki. She was selling cat too, man. Um, you got your sexy reds, your Sukiana, all, all of these. They're all trash as well. They're all trash. But this is what they're pushing. They're pushing this whole sexual sexual liberation sort of thing. Like I like I don't I don't understand what's going on. And then on the male side of things, yeah, they're selling the devil. <laughs> You have like Sam Smith, Playboy Carti, Lil Uzi Vert, um, who, who else? Lil Nas X, all these people that's just promoting Satanism openly. And now, at least back in the day, uh, I'm talking a couple years ago, at least they will try to subliminally put in these demonic references into like music videos and all of that. Now they're just out here in the open. Now they're just like... They're just like, fuck it, yeah, like, we're going to tell you what we're about. Like, us masons, us demonic people, we're going to show you what we're going. Like, yeah, yeah, your Doja Cats and that, they're, they're all moving crazy. This is the agenda that the entertainment industry is pushing. Pe people, people really underestimate the amount of influence entertainment brings to people. A lot of people... Half half of human beings, if anything, get their education from entertainment. Do you know what I mean? Like, no one wants to read. No one wants to watch videos that are informative, like this one, or like anyone else. Um, if anything, people would want to... People are, would be more willing to learn something if it was entertaining, if it captivated their imagination and it actually got them to engage. Now, you would be hoping that the ent entertainment industry would be doing stuff like that. Or at least, even if you're going to be showing the, the, the fuckery, please excuse my language, the, the, the fucked up sides like your Game of Thrones, like every movie is just sex, every, every song is just sex, everything is just sex, 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 sex. At least if you're going to be showing that, at least like show and promote some calm things man things that that are actually entertaining and does not involve these things i mean there, there's a whole community and a whole site for these things it's called corn just remove the c with the p but yeah but yeah this is what the entertainment industry is pushing because influence is probably the strongest thing if you want compliance from somebody yeah Forcing them, yeah, you'll get resistance. You want them to move according to their own accord. So, when you have your favorite, when you have your idols, because a lot of people have idols, these A list celebrities like Drake and all of that, all the, they're not fans, they're looking up to you like a god. They, they see them as an idol. So, whatever they say 
is correct and whatever they say that's what people are going to do so when you have your top influencers influencing people to move zesty or gay or just overly sexual i mean what's what's that going to do for society we are literally promoting diseases <laughs> we are literally promoting um just whoredom just hold them. And I know people are going to be like, oh, hey, Chem, you make music. Are you not trying to jump on the music industry thing? No. Like, let me not even lie. I don't even want to sign to none of these major record labels still. Let me not even lie. Like, I will be independent forever. If that means that I never blow, hey, hey, that's calm. That's calm. Because I would rather keep my integrity and keep my sanity, actually know that I am... Not part of the re part of the people pushing this demonic, demonic, evil, evil agenda that these that this entertainment industry is trying to push. At least I can be, I can, I can feel good in my own conscience knowing that I am not part of this bullshit. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm too talented. We will make some noise. Do you know what I mean? But, but I can't lie. I, I'm not trying to. I'm going to sign with my guys, but the second my guys, like, their branch is signed under what, the the major record labels, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not involved. I'm not involved with these guys. I'm not even lying to you. Because um, <sighs> the agendas they're pushing, this whole demon, sex, killing, drugs, all of that... It, it's only it's, uh, you need to understand what they're doing with this thing it's not going to affect people like myself and older or maybe it will but to a lesser de degree than how it's going to affect the younger generations the people that's growing up i have a little bro 10 and this is what this is the sort of entertainment they want to be pushing and promoting in his face it's more than just that even youtubers even these young youtubers like cash and that and i show speed and all of this shit they're out here like Flashing their dicks on stream or getting humped by another man on stream. Like, what's all this? And then my little bro's meant to watch that. Or leaving, um, what's his name, Aiden Ross, leaving a tab open that's Pornhub and then go, go, going on there and flashing the screen. What's all that about, man? What's all that about? No, 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 the entertainment industry, we need to come to a point where we're boycotting Hollywood. Hollywood needs to be boycotted. We need to, we need to start from the bottom up. We need, to, we need to fund and start a brand new entertainment industry that actually has morals and principles established behind it. That actually has, like, there's someone actually filtering and checking out, like, what's going on, like... Like, none of this open demonic worship. Like, like I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I really do not know what's going on. And it's really pissing me off. Because I'm, like, I'm, I'm an artist, right? And this is going to... It's going to affect me. Like, I'm trying to release some stuff, but then this is what they want people to push. Nah, nah, I can't be part of that, man. Now, we need to start a brand new entertainment industry. We need to destroy Hollywood. Hollywood is finished. We need to finish off Hollywood, start again, get some actual pattern people in those high positions that can monitor and control the sort of content that's coming out. Listen, I feel like there's a time and a place for everything, yeah? If it was up to me personally, there would be no, like, all of this bullshit sex movies and shit. It's, nah, there wouldn't be any of that if it was up to me But listen, the world is big and um, everyone has different ideas, whatever If we're going to create these sort of things Two things, number one Like, sex sells anyways You do not need to promote it You do not need to promote it heavily The promotional budget for these sort of things should be low Because it's bullshit What you're, promo what, what you're trying to sh um, show people is bullshit I'm, And adults are going to find it anyways you get it that's the first thing and then the second thing we need more balance or we need to 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 have more content more movies more ideas more content that does not involve either the devil or sex or drugs that's what we need that's what we need so we need to build a brand new entertainment industry man and i'm down to 
to to help build this up because Hollywood at this rate, yeah, we're we're just going to a more and more debauchery society. Like society is going to become so lawless. It's already lawless, but it's going to become so much more lawless. We can't even we can't even live. We can't even live here no more. Honestly, I, I really feel like living in the wilderness and just disconnecting from everything and everybody and all sort of media because what is this? But anyways, man, that's all I have to say, man. Fuck the entertainment industry, honestly, man. Fuck the big three record labels as well, man. Nah, fuck all of them, man, because, because they're pushing these ideals and they're pushing these, um, these demonic messages to our young kids. And then they're going to grow up fucked up and then cause, cause the same pain that we, do, that we went through and we caused. And it's going to be worse because they're younger. Anyways, that's all I have to say, man. Fuck the entertainment industry, man. But we're going to build a new one, man. That's, that's, that's all I have to say for this one still. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.